Someone dumped a rabbit. We want to walk up. We want to be quiet. Oh, there's another rabbit right over here. Okay. What is up, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. And for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob, and welcome to my jungle. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, well, you will know today's video is an insane one. I was out python hunting last night deep in the Everglades searching for invasive python nests, but it wasn't pythons that we found. When I was out searching for these invasive serpents, well, I found two dumped rabbits. Somebody took these rabbits out here to the swamps of the Everglades and literally dumped them and left them to die where they would have been python, crocodile, or alligator bait. Guys, it's just so sad that someone would do this and well, that is all I'm gonna tell you guys. So if you wanna see these rabbits, see when I found them, see what is going on with them now. Well guys, you are in the right place. But before we hop into today's rabbit rescue, well guys, I have a special message from today's sponsor. And before we go any further with today's video, well, I just want to give a special thank you to Litter Robot for sponsoring today's video. For those of you that don't know what a litter robot is, well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It is a litter box that's a robot, meaning it actually scoops itself so you don't have to do the scooping. So let me stop talking about it and let me show you guys. And here it is. This is the litter robot. Now, we've actually got to unbox this thing because we haven't done that yet. So let's open it on, on, on up and... Guys, your days of scooping are over. If you guys are like me and you've actually got cats, well, you know what the hassle is of cleaning a litter box. And with the litter robot, you don't have to do any of that. It literally scoops itself. And here it is. The litter robot is in little baby China's room. It's plugged in and all we've got to do is add litter. Now, China's over here. Now, China, she doesn't know what to think about her new litter box. Hey, what do you think about your new box? So to get this set up, well, all we've got to do is add litter, and there's actually a little fill line. So we're just going to take our litter right here, and, we're, and I, think, I think we've got enough litter. The litter is in, and to get this thing going, well, all we've got to do is come over here, and we've just got to click cycle. And once your cat kind of makes his way in and goes poop in there, you're just going to hit the cycle button. And when you hit the cycle button, well, this whole device is going to start spinning, and it's going to grade out all of the poop and send it down below. All the litter is going to get filtered through that grate right there. The poop is going to get stuck, and when the poop gets stuck, it's actually going to fall right through that hole. So as you can see, all the litter is going right on in, just like that. And we don't have any poop yet, but if there were poop, it would fall right down that hole. Once your litter is filtered through, all of your poop is going to fall right down into that hole right there. The box is done cycling, and literally all you do is you just pull this right on out just like this. And this right here is where all of your poop is actually going to get collected. Now, we don't have any poop. All the litter was stuck in there. We have our extra bag. And when you're done, you just seal it on up and close it back on in. And the best part of all is you can control the litter robot right from your phone. I seriously cannot recommend litter robot enough. It's so convenient because you don't have to scoop the litter. It does it for you and it even puts it in a bag. So when it's time to clean, all you do is tie the bag off and throw it away. So if litter robot sounds like something you guys want to check out, if you have any cats, well, if you go right now, click the link in my description. You guys are going to get $25 off. And now that all of you guys got to hear about Litter Robot and all of its incredible benefits, well, guys, it is time now to hop into today's rabbit rescue. Guys, so I'm out here right now deep in the Everglades at night, and I am actually came out here to search for invasive pythons and, well, any invasive creatures, but more specifically invasive pythons right now because... The pythons are actually nesting right now. So we're searching for python nests. And as you can see, we're out here and we're just literally in the middle of nowhere right now. And lo and behold, right over here, someone dumped a rabbit. And there's a white, I think, Lance, what do you think that is? I think it looks like it's a haul and lop rabbit. Now, this is insane. Somebody literally dumped this rabbit. It could be albino. Yeah, okay. He's running away from us, so there could be more. Now, this rabbit is right here now. All right, Lance, hold the camera because I want to try and catch him. Look, I think he's a friendly, I think he's a friendly little rabbit. Let's look at him. Oh, so he's not going away. So this was clearly was someone's dumped pet. Hi, buddy. Oh, I, I would just want to, oh, he's going. Okay, we got him. We caught him. Look at this. I seriously cannot believe that we just found this poor rabbit out here, but it, honestly doesn't surprise me because this area in South Florida is a known dumping ground for animals. I know of several people that have rescued rabbits recently, found dumped rabbits, and this is clearly someone's pet. And another way I can tell right away is if you look at this poor bunny's feet, 
its feet are super yellow, and that's actually from the rabbit standing in its own pee, which discolored his fur. And you can tell that these rabbits were most likely neglected because look, they have mads in their fur. Not only is it all over their feet, but all over the butt and tail is completely matted up right now. But overall, I think this rabbit seems to be pretty healthy and happy right now. He's this rabbit right here is clearly frightened, so I actually have a bin in the truck that we're gonna put him on in, and we're gonna come back and look for more rabbits because normally, if there's one dumped animal, there's normally more. So I got this bin for my truck right now, which is not meant for a rabbit, but for right now, this is all we've got. So I'm just gonna put him right on in this bin. Here you go, buddy. So this rabbit is in this bin right now. We've got some mulch in there. So this is where he's going to go for now. This is a nice safe, safe space for him because if we didn't get this rabbit, well, he most definitely would have been food for pythons, coyotes, foxes, and maybe even crocodiles and alligators. So now that we found this little guy, let's go and continue the search and see if we find some more. Okay, so we've been walking around for another 20 minutes. And we're, we're making our way back to the other bin and right around this tree. Oh no, he's past the tree now. There's another rabbit right over here. He's right there, it's white. So we wanna walk up, we wanna be quiet, but we also wanna be firm in our action because this rabbit could bolt and at nighttime, a little rabbit like that can move pretty quickly. Now, there's not that many hiding spots, which is pretty good, but again, here's the albino rabbit. And, okay, got him, just like that. We swooped and I snatched him. This is definitely another albino hollenlop rabbit with even more matted fur. If you come look at this guy's feet, it looks like there's poop literally caked on his feet thick. Look at this, matted thick. We're gonna have to cut that tomorrow and take care of it because this guy is full of mads, but, whoa, I'm sorry, buddy. Hey, hey, I know, I know, I know. It's gonna be okay. So this guy is clearly frightened and scared for his life right now. But even though he's a dumped animal, he appears to have a good weight. And by the look on his eyes, they're clear and plump, which means he probably isn't too dehydrated. There's also a lot of moisture here. So let's stop talking and let's get this guy to the bin and reunite it with his friend. So we've got the second rabbit here and his little friend is in the bin. So let's put him on in right here. So I haven't looked to see whether they're boys or girls just yet. So guys, Comment down below right now, do you think these rabbits are boys or girls? Do we have one boy, one girl, two boys, or two girls? Guys, I'm not entirely sure, but these guys, these rabbits were definitely someone's pet. They're friendly, they're sweet, and they definitely didn't deserve to be dumped out here like worthless animals. These little guys are in the bin, so you know what? That's gonna wrap it up for tonight. I'm gonna get these guys back home to my preserve and tomorrow morning I'll be with you guys. We're gonna do a full exam on them to see how they look, to see if they're injured at all. And we're actually gonna be setting them up. So guys, if you wanna see if these rabbits are injured, what's going on with them, well guys, I'll be back with you in the morning. The next day. Good morning, good morning my beautiful people. Well, it is the morning time now and Hannah is with me and Hannah, it's pretty crazy what I found last night. No, oh, yeah, it is really crazy. So we're here with the rescued rabbits and I called Hannah and she wanted to come take a look at them. So we've got Hannah here and our rescued rabbits are right here in the bin. So, so Hannah, here are the rescued rabbits. This is Hannah's first time seeing them and what, what do you think Hi. of them? This one seems pretty skittish. I mean, I tried petting him and he keeps on like dodging it, but so, yeah. they are adorable. They, they are, have red eyes. They have red eyes because they're albino Holland oh, wow. rabbits. Oh. Now we've given them some romaine lettuce here, and sweet potatoes buddy? now. Like I was telling you guys, we're gonna be doing a quick exam on them just to see how they look. Now, from first glance, they just have some matted fur. Um, so we're gonna check them out right now. I and mean, they're actually gonna be going in this coop over here. This is where the chickens were, but my buddy needed the chickens, so I gave the chickens to my buddy. So this is where the rabbits are going to go. They have a nice area that they can hide in, and they also have a nice area where they can graze on grass, stay in the shade. Um, so Hannah, why don't you pick one of them up and okay. And Hopefully this little guy doesn't freak out. Yeah, so you want to support his, him? Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, oh. look at his poor feet. Okay, this rabbit is... No, he's freaking out right now. He's very scared, so we just oh, want to... Oh, but look, if you look at the bottom of his feet, yeah. I mean, he looks pretty healthy. I oh mean, he doesn't have any poop on his butt, but other than his 
feet, feet are so being matted. a little dirty. They're so matted. It's up really right bad. Now. So this is clearly some signs of neglect where they let the feet and the rabbits just sit in their pee. Guys, this is just really sad. Poor here. things. So poor thing. We're gonna check that guy out. Maybe try and pick one up and let's look in the ears to see if there's any fleas okay. or ticks or mites. Let's see. Let's take a look because a lot of times these rabbits. I mean, that looks pretty clean. I don't know if you can see Let in me there. See it. I'm trying to see you in see the. It? Wait, but you, I don't know. I'm not seeing. I see any. like white stuff almost. Let me check yeah, the other let's ear. Let's check the other ear. We just want to do a quick little exam because we don't want to infest fleas or ticks over here, or even I mites. No, there's some white stuff in there. I don't Wait, know what is that there could really? be. A little bit. Where? I'm not seeing it. So a deep these in rabbits there. are are being really friendly right now. They're really let's sweet check this rabbits. Guy right here. Let's check him on out. He seems pretty clean. He does. All right, yeah, but maybe he does. we should go through the fur to see if there's. Oh, that, that ear is really dirty. Really? Yeah, look at that. See that oh, in there? It's like there's black. Like, there's like, oh my gosh, it's really bad. So we're definitely going to be cleaning this ear out, but maybe let's let's look through the fur because hidden in the fur is where you're going to see those fleas and mites. Do you see anything, Hannah? I don't know. I, I don't see anything right now. I, I'm not seeing anything either. Normally you'll see like little black little dots. which would... Sometimes they're white also, so that it might blend in with their fur. Yeah. Oh. What are those things? I have no idea. That could be like some like skin fungus, skin fungus thing. Oh my goodness. So we're going to give these rabbits some time to settle into their coop. Now we're going to be having these rabbits up for adoption. We're going to be screening home. So if anyone is in the South Florida area and you might want to adopt one of these adorable Holland Loft rabbits, well guys, send me a DM on Instagram. My Instagram is linked down below. Um, but let's get them in the coop right now, Hannah. So okay. Hannah, Hannah's going to open the first door on up. I've got one rabbit. Okay, so we're opening it on up. Yeah. So the door's open on up. Hannah, okay. let him go into his Hello, new buddy. home right there. Cool. Here you go, There's and a, you go in with your friend right there. A so. lot of shade with all of those, all of those grown out weeds right there. So this coop right here is going to be perfect for these rabbits because there's different little weeds that they can actually graze on and there's plenty of shade. You can see, I think he's already cleaning oh, look, himself. He's grooming himself. He's grooming himself. They're already looking much happier. Water, so buddy? so yeah. we have a nice water bowl for them, which we're going to keep right over here okay. in this corner. And let's actually get the lettuce out of this bin right now. So we gave him some lettuce and sweet potatoes, which I'm pretty sure that they've... Oh, he's already coming out. Here, do you want a snack, buddy? You want this? You want a carrot? You want that? Here. You want a carrot? Hey. Nope. Here, go in your little home. So he's munching on it. Look. So look, this little guy over here he's in the back corner already. is munching. So we're gonna keep the romaine lettuce right here. We're gonna put it right by the food dish. So okay. Hannah, you put the rest of it there. Here, and we're just gonna sprinkle some of the carrots and sweet potatoes on top, which is a nice, delicious, and nutritious snack for them. And these guys are doing good. And I think the other one's in the hut, right, Hannah? Yeah, I went in the hut. Look, do you see it? I, I don't know. Oh, there he is. You see his face right there. I don't there. see him, but let's actually close him on up. Let's leave him over here. Let's actually... Okay, I got this. You, you got that right yeah. there? So let's take a look at him. He's actually in the hut right now. Let's. Okay, let's open on up. And he is already inside of his new little house. So we've got some pine shavings in there. And this is where they will go when it rains. They can stay out of the rain. They've got a nice, large, spacious area. Now let's pull these weeds out of the way and get this door closed on up just like that. And well that my friends is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's rabbit rescue. Hannah, absolutely insane, insane. right? Insane. Poor little babies. I mean, look at the condition that they were in. Yeah, these rabbits were definitely not well cared for. So that's going to end today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to go comment down below a prayer for these rabbits. And guys, if you're interested in adopting them, again, send either me or my sister a DM. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet to me or my sister, well guys, what are you waiting for? All of that is linked right down below.